Good morning. Good morning. So I uh, do have some vocals today. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to, to stay on and just uh, get on quickly and say what I need to say. Although writing on the screen can, you know, sometimes if you just don't have time to listen, you can just read it, fast forward and read it. But um, <clears throat> just had a couple alerts go off uh, earlier la or late last night and then sometime this morning. And so uh, take a look at those. Um, uh, I think I only had to make one adjustment throughout the day. Um, that's a five minute, that's a five minute alert. Ah, so this was that trade that I canceled yesterday saying, okay, we are near the end of the four hour period and we haven't made the move yet. So it usually doesn't work out that way. And lo and behold, um, it did not work out. So <clears throat> go back out to the four hour and yeah, price, price did not respect this area whatsoever. So we will get rid of this, all that. Oh, we got another one go off. Um, Get rid of all this and then clean up this because it's not respecting that anymore and then just wait till price gets up there or down here and so yeah that's that for uh aj so your aud um this is the one that i cleaned up yesterday uh i originally had this alert up here um to let me know when price broke um, but then i realized that this area is actually a little bit bigger than i than i uh expected and um my but my my hedging is actually still in a pretty safe spot so i'm just this alert will basically say hey if if a candle closes on the four hour outside of this area here let me know and then i'll come back and look and i don't know maybe i'll get hedged early um, if it's not respecting this area but you know we get a little bit of play where price could wick down into these areas here um, before taking off so we'll see how that goes uh clean up that one right there um Odd USD uh, did come back up into this area here, gave a wick rejection, gave a candle that would have uh, been nice to look at had I been up at five o'clock in the morning. Um, so if we mark out what, what would have happened, um, we'll see how that would have played out. <clears throat> so price would have come back made its low, which is like what I like to see. I like to see the low. Um, I would have done something along this line here, waiting for a break of that. The wick at that point in time would be six pips. So we would double that up to about 12. Um, and then we'd go for a break of these lows here. And so I'd be in this trade um, and I'd be Let's see, I would have gone for one to three, but yeah, we're you know, too close to this uh, this other support here. Um, support, resistance in the past, support now. So let's see where that would, would take us if we just get down there to, to touch it to begin with. So if we get down somewhere near here, we're almost at 1.7, 1.0, you know, if we bank early just to make sure 1.5. So... Uh, watch this one, see how it goes. But that basically would have been how the trade would have been set up. Um, and uh, this is the kind of stuff I'm trying to stay consistent with. So that one's good to go. Let's just uh, look at that one. I'm watching this anyway for other stuff. So I could be able to come back to it. Um, finally got a break above uh, this here. Um, now it looks like we'll be coming all the way back up to this way. Uh, looking for a break and retest here on the hourly, dropping down to the one minute. Remember, the one minute is the the thing about the one minute is look at the spreads. Um, and granted, these spreads aren't equal to the same spread or my spreads on MT4 as I go through uh, placing trades there, um, but they're usually pretty pretty consistent. Um, mine might be a little bit smaller, but you know. When going for a one to three, if, if you can get a one to three, then it's not not bad. But if you're going like a one to one, um, you actually end up getting a whole lot less than a one to one. Uh, and you got to be careful with that. So just waiting for price to get up there and we'll see what happens once price gets up there. Uh, you know what what I do. Um, CHFJPY just happened to hit uh, right now uh, into this area here. Once again, not a really strong wick, um, wick rejection there. Plus, we have been making uh, higher highs um, and higher lows all the way up. <clears throat> so with that, you know, we've already we've already wicked past this to begin with. So if I had to actually include uh, those wicks there, 
this is how that zone would look. It would be huge. So if it's going to do anything, really, I need to wait for it to come up here to see what kind of rejections I actually get. Um, but really, at this point in time, you know, in comparison, it's like, okay, where is the zone? Who knows? Now, when you look at something like this, where price has come to the zone, oh, look at that, multiple times, rejected, came in, rejected, broke through, bounced, broke through, rejected. Like this is a much cleaner zone than this one. It's it's thinner, it makes more sense than this really thick, thick, thick zone. So let's clean up that guy, who cares anymore? <clears throat> and we'll see where this goes. And this one down here has been, been nice for a while as well. So let's leave that where it is. Um, I've cleaned out my alert logs. It looks like I have two more that are here. Um, odd USD. Uh, we looked at that one, didn't we? Yeah, this is the one that we looked at. Oh, we looked at this one on the one hour. Uh, no, no, we did look at four hour, five minute. Okay, four hour, five minute. Uh, hit that level there. That's why it's this alert here. Okay, so... <clears throat> Leave that go where it's going, see how that plays out. Um, really expecting it to come back down here. And that would be, you know, that one, 1.5. 1. 5. Uh, and then we looked at this one as well. That would be this alert here. Um, we have some, we have some uh, up structure here, some uh, bullish structure. Uh, so could look for uh, a pullback into these areas here. Um, or if we're going to maintain this little uh, uptrend, then really we'd pull back to somewhere here. So I'll leave that. I'll actually throw out a little alert down at the bottom half of this, uh, this zone here. And if price gets back here, then I'll look to take a buy up. Uh, if it gets back here, I'll look to take a sell down. And that'll be the current plan there. So let's mark that up. If price comes down here, I'll take a buy up. But if price comes up here, I'll take a sell down. Oh, look at that. And so it's now trapped between this little range here. And this will probably set up, I mean, unless unless the market just does some stupid, crazy stuff over the next, uh, what, what time is it? Like nine something over the next hours. Um, yeah, we have no news, uh, no news for uh, CAD CHF. So we did have news this morning, which is probably where this huge spike came from, this huge jump up. Um, but that is the current game plan. And then we'll just go from there. So see you guys later. I'm going to go off to work. All right. Uh, I did just have an alert go off USD CAD. Um, oh, we're just entering a zone. Okay. So this is... A one hour zone, I mean, four hour zone, all depends on where you work, there. maybe even daily zone. Nah, daily's not as clean. Um, but from the four hour, one hour time frame, it's been a while since we've uh, broken this area and we finally broke above and now we're coming back to retest it. Um, and so basically I'll wait to see how this closes. Um, probably the four hour, the four hour is really, really, bearish right now. So I'll wait to see how the four hour closes. Um, maybe if I get a, might have to be very careful about that. I was thinking about that. Um, yeah, I'd have to wait for the four hour. So I'll wait to see how the four hour closes. What zone is this? Uh, this is the four hour zone. So I'll get another alert when this actually closes anyway. So I'll get rid of this. And basically that's what I'll be waiting on. Um, so, uh, Hopefully all that came through. Um, I understand that uh, I, I muted my mic earlier uh, and and Zoom was like, hey, just to let you know, audio might not be recorded. So hopefully that came through. If it didn't, ooh, that might stink. This whole, this whole entire session might stink because you can't actually hear me tell you that's going to stink. We'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, yeah. So until next time, I'll see you in a minute. Well, this is going to be a short sh short session. I got some things I got to do away from the computer right now. So if I hop on later, I'll hop on later. But uh, until then, you guys have a blessed weekend. See you on Wednesday.